Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from Puzzle Crate. This is actually the July box, not the August box. Uh, I know this is about a month late. I'm still trying to get caught up with unboxings from packages that I got while I was moving and at nationals and everything, so I know this is super late. Uh, the August unboxing will be going up very, very soon. But anyways, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like we got a Akimoto and Greg lattice cube. So let's go ahead and read about this puzzle. It is a Calvin's puzzle. So it says, this is a classic puzzle that has been around for about four years now. However, not too many puzzlers have this puzzle due to its higher than average price tag. Like the name suggests, it was designed by puzzle designer Katsuhiko Akimoto in collaboration with Gregoire Fenning. It is relatively easy to solve, but is still a fun challenge. Even the corner tips turn, but they could benefit from a drop or two of lube. Enjoy. So like the card said, this puzzle has been around for quite a few years now and I have not gotten one yet but it's a puzzle that I kind of always wanted to get but just never really kind of got around to ordering uh, it is a very very cool looking puzzle uh, the first thing you'll notice about it uh, is the strange color scheme it's got kind of a Japanese type color scheme as you can see it has the Calvin's puzzle logo and then uh, the Katsuhiko Akimoto signature and Gregoire Fenix signature there so those are the two designers of this puzzle so this is corner turning so as you can see it turns like this uh, in that sense, it's very similar to a dino cube. Uh, what makes this different from a dino cube is these little corner pieces here that move like this. So if you just kind of ignore these cuts right here, you can kind of see this X right here that you see in a dino cube. So you have your dino cube edges, right? Here's an edge right here, this yellow orange one. But then you can also turn up uh, a, a, an edge like this and then turn the top to get these pieces all scrambled up. Uh, it definitely is quite stiff. Those corner pieces are very, very hard to move. Uh, let's see if we can maybe put in a drop of lube and see if that'll make any difference. I've got some DNM here that I might see if I can throw in there just to uh, see if I can speed it up at all. All right, let's see if that does anything. Yeah, that helps a little bit for sure. Uh, I think break-in is just going to be kind of important here. But yeah, uh, these these um, major turns here turn very, very well. Those have no problem. It's just these outer parts that definitely uh, are going to need some break-in. This puzzle is also quite a bit bigger than you might expect. Here it is uh, next to a normal 3x3. It's, uh, it's a decent decent size bigger than a three by three overall though it's just a very very nice looking puzzle it's got very simple cuts and simple lines uh, and there's something kind of uh, elegant about the simplicity of a puzzle like this that still has like a good amount of pieces but just looks really simplistic um, and it's just kind of nice so i think i know how i'm going to go about solving this i think the easiest way to do it is just going to be to solve it like a dino cube and then uh, put in these pieces with some simple three cycles which are is very easy for these types of puzzles where you can just move a piece up up, turn at the, you know this top portion if I can get it to move there we go and then turn it back now you see we have a, a three cycle like that uh, and that's very very simple so I think we will go ahead and scramble it up now and see about doing a solve All right, so I think that is a pretty sufficient scramble. So the first thing I'm gonna do is solve it like a dino cube. So that's basically gonna be solving these four pieces here in the middle. So this part is really simple. Uh, first, we wanna get all of the white pieces up, uh, although I'm not entirely sure on the color scheme, so we'll just kind of guess here. I think this is probably right, like this. Although I'm not sure if uh, any of these two need to be flipped. Uh, but we'll see. So we have these four, and that means that hopefully these four are in the correct positions as well. Uh, let's go ahead and put in these middle pieces now. Uh, yeah, so that one went in, so I'm thinking this is correct. Um, that one can go in, and then we can just slide in this one right here. All right, and then for the top... Um, this one is already solved, so that means we can cycle these four around it. Just like that, okay. So now our dino cube portion is solved, so that's all these middle pieces here. So now just for these outer like corners, basically. Um, so let's say we want to put in this piece right there. So what we can do is, is uh, turn this corner here, and then turn it up like that, move it out of the way, turn this back, and then move this back into place. And so now that piece is solved. And we can just kind of do that same kind of cycle for like all of the pieces pretty much. Um, so 
Let's say we want to put in, we can do it like one corner at a time. Let's say we want to do this one next. I think it's going to be this piece here. So uh, what we'll do is turn it up, move it in and turn it back down. And now this one's in. Now we'll do this one, which I think is going to be this piece here. So uh, instead of turning it in and then moving it out of the way and turning it back, what I'm going to do is move this over like that, move this spot up, move this over and then bring that back. So basically we can go ahead and do that just for the rest of the pieces. All right, and that is the solve. So uh, basically there's kind of an interesting thing that happens at the very end. Because you can basically only swap pieces with opposite corners, um, the last two corners become solved when, the, when these two corners become solved. So yeah, it really is quite an easy solve. Um, there's no algorithms really required or anything. As long as you can solve a dino cube and, and know how to just cycle pieces around corners like this, uh, it's not gonna be anything difficult. But yeah, that's, a, uh, that's the lattice cube. It's pretty fun, very simple, but uh, yeah, just nice little puzzle to kind of mess around with. And, and uh, it looks really nice, as I said. So that about does it for this month's puzzle crate definitely be sure to look out for next month's puzzle crate video which should be coming up in the next few days i already have the package so it should be going up very soon if you guys do want to check out puzzle crate it's a monthly subscription service it's 30 dollars a month and you get new puzzles sent to you every single month i'll of course leave the link down in the description anyways that's about it for this month's puzzle crate unboxing if you guys like this video make sure that like button turn notifications and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching guys bye